Oops. So, hello my friends, but first let's tape down the paper. Today I use a paper from, from a roll. It's a, it's a Fabriano. 200 grams, so not 300 grams like usual. For watercolor, it's just a 200 gram windows, but the windows on the buildings. Yesterday in the evening, I was sitting around watching TV and then I started to sketch windows. Some people, this is another tutorial. And then I started to sketch windows and classic windows. Then get a little bit more loose, a little bit more for fantasy, as well as you see here, two people are behind these windows. Yeah, and in this video I show you how we can draw this, how we can personalize, how we can do individual windows, and then of course how to color it with watercolor. The tools I will use in this Tutorial on uh, the brush pen from uh, Pentel as well as a brush pen from Kuratake. You can find all these tools in the video description. There is a list, an art supply list, list uh, on Amazon. For Amazon a link and there you can uh, see and read the stuff that I use. Okay, um, as well as a fine liner, this one is a Tiki graphic, but another way, because yesterday when drawing all these uh, like errors, the cartridges here I use, these are that one you can buy and refill, but you can refill it for, for yourself. I use an injection, you can uh, order this as well uh, on Amazon and you know, it's uh, safe. And then we fill it with my usual uh, sketching. This is a waterproof ink made for fountain pens, so you can use it in fountain pen pens and it's waterproof. And then I fill it up here a little bit. And we can refill this cartridge. There is a there is a, a metal ball inside and that's good for the flow of the ink while painting. Okay. And then back into the pen. Let's close it. And as well we have to also I refill this Pentel cartridges. They comes with the. You can buy it with the Pentel brush. There is one in it, and we also can refill this one. First, we do it uh, with uh, with the fine liner, or you can use a fountain pen as well. And when we remember, as the kids maybe when they are not super talented they draw a window like this yeah and there's nothing wrong with it it's not but it's just not finished so let's uh, finish it and the third thing is that we have this to divide this window here and as well we have here the frame of the window. This is a very classical one, so nothing special with it. And then the first thing is we think about where's the light, maybe from the above the right side, so it's coming from here. So we do the, the shadows. Ah, for this Drawing you also can use, it's very useful when you don't uh, like to use these uh, brush pens or a brush with ink. 
we can uh, try a fountain pen, a field pen. This is one with this banded banded nib. Now you can make these thicker lines. I'm just testing. Yeah, and so you can do the shadows here. The same way you can do it with the brush pen. But with this brush pen you can do it thicker. Okay. So I can use this for the smaller shadows here. And I didn't use this for one or two weeks and it just started to work. That's uh, very special. Because the other fountain pens filled up with this uh, special ink, I have to dip it into water and clean it a little bit when I don't use them uh, daily. And then of course they work. But this one, after weeks. And here we make some... Yeah, now I put the nib upside down. And then you have smaller, uh, thinner lines. And you can see, you can mix up your media. So let's do here one more. And we do here some shadows. And then when you see back into the room of this, through this window, there's the a dark room behind the glass and so we have this part here to make it a little bit more interesting let's do a big shadow down at the bottom of this part yeah and that's our first uh, we can frame it once more one more frame here and so we have our first classical window. So nothing special. Just 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 the first practice. Go on with this one. Let's push the the ink down by screwing here. <laughs> Whoppa! Okay, nothing happened. Okay, now I get it too far, but this doesn't does not destroy the drawing. It makes it more more interesting. We can use this for some shadows I need a brush so come on yeah well let's do a some black arrows around this one this is quite okay let's pick up some water here as well as we do it here. You know this famous painter? These happy little accidents. And uh, this one I want to keep really black because here you can use this for the underneath. So this could be a dirty old wall. Let's keep some white highlights here. Now, and this is this nice journey when you, as well as I refilled the the pens on the paper because maybe something happened and then we start a journey and here is one of these journeys, a journey into an unknown direction. Okay, um, let's take this. We can also do some splatters here. <laughs> okay, very much 
splitters and let's divide this here and because we have here a very dark larger area we make here some some lighter parts and only here our dark parts and then let's see this wooden this panels this wooden there we do the shadows here okay i think we do this once more then but first we finish this window very important the shadows on the correct si uh, side in this case light is coming from the right side so we have the shadows always here not on the right side on the left side on the correct left side so we i will allow, let the ink dry and we go so now more uh, fantasy more a uh, very special window let's see some gothic or more on the gothic side um, so a tall high but small window and then maybe we have some decoration parts here gonna go up here and um, and to make it more we do here the shadows to see if this works as let's do this here light and shadow makes every drawing better as you see here the frame if you struggle with the uh, straight lines you can of course do some uh, pencil lines with a ruler it's good for practice as well oh, I want some nicer thinner lines so I take this one And then we have a second line here. And we need some decoration under the window. And around the window. And this one we will fill up with black ink. In this part we use a traditional brush with an India ink so I want to save this here so that it don't flip over that would be too much a too much a too happy too happy accident I don't need this ah, I think it is it's too big this brush so let's take this one. Now. The next window we will do with water soluble ink so that we can see how it turns out when we use uh, water soluble ink and then um, color it with watercolor like I did in a previous um, video with the with an house. Uh, uh, house cityscape painting drawing 
or it was my urban sketching because there were only two houses, I think. And here the this I think these brush pens are of course uh, easier to use than uh, these traditional uh, brushes when you work with ink. You see, because this fine tip and this variation of line thick and thin, that's very handy, really easy. So this one is uh, the line work with um, waterproof ink here. And, but then the shading we will use water soluble ink and then we use water to dilute it. We will see what happened and how it turns out. So I have the shadows I do with the other ink. So where is my water soluble ink? It should be here because I I sign it with a P and an L. These are the German words, loosely and permanent. Um, and let's do the shadows here with this water soluble ink now. Water soluble ink uh, normally is also much cheaper. I got, I think, 10 euros or something like this for a half a liter, and it was accidentally bought. But then I found a way to use it. But you have to know it before you start drawing. But that this is not a waterproof ink, of course. Ah, oh, and we can take one of my nice tip pens. Everybody knows what's coming now. My splatters. Yeah. Okay, so you see there is a wide variation, there are many possibilities to, to draw, not only windows of course, but when you take a, take a sheet of paper and do this with, with trees, with uh, lamps, uh, street lamps, and, and I think the journey goes and the knowledge and the things got get deeper and deeper into this topic and also you can practice of course your hand so we need clean water please there's no muck there okay and i got some water soluble ink yeah and that what we expected. So great for shading. And and the next window we will do with we will do this with watercolor. Or we can also color this one. But let's do another one. So a more sketchy one. Maybe for an old damaged house. So this is why this is angled. And I want to hold this shadow. So I do it with waterproof ink. So there is no problem to combine these two types of ink. And this part is now, let's see, it's broken here and so it's hanging here. Oh, the shadows now Lights coming from here, yeah. Now, of course, on the same side. 
Oh uh, no, I use the other one. This is the cheaper one because it's full plastic. This is full metal. Check it. And here we do the shadows. And maybe you recognize there are some parts when you are draw very loose, very sketchy. Some parts you have to do very precise and others other parts you can do very very loose and the combination is what we then see in a good result the shadows under these individual parts And you see it's all about the shadow to get a little bit of a three dimension view. And now the other way around. Let's say we we'll darken this part. Ah, okay, now I used the water soluble, uh, the waterproof ink here. A little bit darker here. As well as in the windows above. Now oh, this is drying super. And under these elements, also more shadow. Yeah, missing the shadow here. So that we have more fun. Yeah, one big thing. You see, this looks very flat. And then just do this because this is behind the frame. Just do here the shadow. And it moves back. These parts here. <clears throat> you see the same here and the same of course here because <clears throat> there is as well the shadow so here uh, very important because here it didn't So this one is for darken this and protect this part and this door is to protect this one so this is a little bit wider yeah now we uh, we use the water solid link and we use it with the tip tip then you know them this pens from another video I uploaded this or last last week. This is the very flexible <coughs> nips. You see. And then we will use some watercolor blue for the glass here. And as you see, there's nothing wrong. It's really <clears throat> fun. I was sitting with this um, this sketchbook yesterday about four or five or uh, five to six hours till midnight and doing one window after the other. And I, I like that. I enjoy that very much. So, oops. So you see what you can do with this very flexible nips. Okay. And now we immediately take water color. I think orange one for the wall. My dirty palette here. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's first start with um, the Airbus Blue. Ah, it's a little bit too dirty. Let's take this one. And I start to do the paint in the part where there's no ink and then I mix it in the end so that we don't get one muddy surface. Yeah, okay, this is because the ink was or is still wet. But we will add some orange as well here. This side. So And here we have the water proof ink, so nothing happens. Now I let this dry and then we can uh, work over these uh, highlights, over these unfinished parts. And we can color the maybe this one. Let's do this one. Sienna, Umbra, Burnt Umber, Rosiana, all these tones are possible here for the wooden color, but And let's do some, maybe they are painted in red with some highlights. Also more shiny color here in the darker shadow parts and some blue or gray in the background yeah here we have our windows nearly one hour in real time but I will this, some parts will be speeded up, but the whole thing here you see in real time was about one hour, so nearly nothing. This is still wet, maybe, and do this here, so like this, and the shadows here, so. Ah, oh, good, fine. I need some darker parts above this, so we take here, I take this um, indigo. This is a small little red roof. What do you think? When you have a question, when you have a topic you want uh, to see a, a video about it, a tutorial about it, and you think I, could, I can help, then please comment or write a 
message me at my Instagram channel as well. If you don't have Instagram, it's I have as well a channel on TikTok. Six happy little windows. I hope this uh, was a little bit helpful for you and gives you some inspiration. And then you know, now sit down, take a sheet of paper, start to draw and be happy. So bye for now.